Imagine this. You dive into the ocean, open your mouth, and instead of choking on salty water, you're breathing. No scuba tanks. No snorkels. Just pure fish-style breathing. Sounds like a superpower, right? But what would really happen if humans could breathe underwater like real fish? Okay, let's set this up. Fish have gills, nature's version of scuba gear. They pull oxygen out of the water, which, by the way, is way less oxygen-rich than air. In fact, water has only about one-thirtieth the oxygen that air does. That's why fish are constantly moving their gills. It's hard work. If you and I had gills, our bodies would need some major upgrades. Step 1. Size. Human lungs are great for air, but useless in water. To match our oxygen needs, our gills would have to be enormous, probably sticking out from our neck like giant red fans. Fashion disaster? Yes. Life-saving? Also yes. Imagine every human looking like a cosplay experiment gone wrong. Step 2. Energy. Breathing water is not as chill as it sounds. Water is about 800 times denser than air, so pulling oxygen from it would be like trying to suck a milkshake through a coffee straw. Constant effort. You'd burn tons of calories just breathing. Forget dieting. Underwater humans would basically have built-in weight loss plans. But hey, once you're adapted, things get cool. No need for oxygen tanks. You could dive down to coral reefs, hang out with sea turtles, or explore shipwrecks as easily as walking through a park. Want to live in a glass bubble city under the sea? Totally possible. You could commute to work in a submarine bus while sipping, actually, probably not coffee. But here's the twist. Living underwater full time would come with weird side effects. For one, your voice wouldn't work the same. Air vibrates your vocal cords. Water doesn't. So goodbye talking. Maybe we develop fish style communication, like humming, body signals, or bubble morse code. Texting might suddenly look like the superior option. And then there's temperature. Water steals heat from your body 25 times faster than air. Even tropical oceans would feel freezing after a while. You'd need a thick blubber layer, like a seal. Humans would slowly start looking less like beach models and more like chunky walrus people. Now, here's the big reveal. Even if you could breathe underwater, there's a limit. The deeper you go, the more pressure crushes down. At just 30 meters, that's three times the pressure at sea level. Without some serious evolution, your gills would collapse, your blood would fizz with nitrogen, and, spoiler alert, you'd not be having fun. Breathing underwater doesn't make you Aquaman. It just makes you a fish with human problems. So, would it be worth it? On one hand, you'd unlock whole new worlds to explore. Oceans cover 70% of Earth, and most of it is still unknown. On the other hand, you'd be cold, calorie-burning, gill-flapping walrus people trying to have conversations with bubbles. Maybe the real magic is that we're already built for land, with brains smart enough to invent submarines and scuba gear. Instead of sprouting gills, we created technology that lets us borrow the ocean for a while, without having to live in it forever. So the next time you see a fish, maybe don't get jealous. Breathing underwater looks cool, but trust me, you'd miss pizza, warm blankets, and being able to talk without blowing bubbles. What about you? Would you trade your lungs for gills if it meant living under the sea? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And hey, if you enjoyed this little science daydream, make sure to hit like, share it with your ocean-loving friends, and subscribe for more What If Adventures. Because who knows, next time we might be asking what happens if the moon suddenly disappeared.